Hello, and welcome to Blender to UT, a quick tutorial. Okay, anyway, this is a follow-up to the previous tutorial, and I will be using the same scene. Now, for this tutorial, I will be explaining the time feature, or the time. Now, this is a simple concept. To check, you just need to figure out how much is going to go into the end, or the start. You're just going to need your how many frames are in your animation, what the frame rate of your animation is. I would stick with 25, mostly because it is the simplest to do this equation with, and frankly, just makes your animation look great. Now, to do this, the equation is frame rate divided by frames, which equals time. So if you had 25 frames per second, divide then and you would put here how many uh, frames are in your animation which you can find out by looking here divide by 250 which would equal 10 so 25 being the frame rate 250 is how many frames in your animation and 10 is what goes into the end time box now, I have also written a formula for our scene. Our scene contains 25 frames per second and has a length of 100 frames. And when you divide this out, you get 4. That is why I put 4 in this box here. So, if you were going to do this, you would want how much it would start. So, if you wanted this to start at 25 frames, the simplest way to do that would just to be say well if 25 frames if 25 frames equals 1 second then you would put 1 in the box over here 